guys, what's going on? This is The Conservative speaking, and I wanted to talk about Juicy Smouye um, <clears throat> being sentenced to five months in prison uh, for insinuating um, a hate crime. Actually, he didn't insinuate a hate crime. He staged a hate crime. So Juicy Smouye will be sentenced to five months in prison at a Cook County jail where, to be quite honest with you, um, he actually got off considering the, the type of crime that he committed. Um, <clears throat> you know, a crime that, to me, um, should have landed him in jail for several years. I mean, I, I would have liked that he, that he wound up in jail for about five years as opposed to five months because... <clears throat> you really have to drive the message home that this is not okay. Okay? That it's bad enough that as a nation, we are divided. And, and we are divided due to politics um, from politicians. And it, it's a shame that, that there are people that actually um, are willing to take sides based on their race, um, and based on their ethnic group and social economic class as well. And <clears throat> so the simple fact that you have a person that will come in and try to divide the nation even more, the fact that, that this, that, uh, this imposter would come in and think that it's okay, um, to stage a, a hate crime in which he accused two white, two white men attacking him uh, during a chilly night in Chicago. And they, <clears throat> they poured bleach on him. Uh, they assaulted him and they put a noose o over his head. And the fact that he said it, that this was being done by a couple white men wearing MAGA hats is is just so disingenuous and so egregious that that the punishment the punishment that was that was put ahead of him really wasn't warranted because it it's you know when when you when you ins when you try to insinuate a race war between the races <clears throat> which is something that America does not stand for at, at all and the simple fact that his case, because, because it had to be investigated as a potential hate crime, had to get, you know, the, the federal agents involved in this, I think it's, it's, it's enough to say that uh, Juicy Smouye, um, I think it's safe to say that the punishment really didn't fit the crime. Because if you're going to investigate this on a federal act, only to find out that the whole thing was a hoax, then it, it should also be treated on a federal, on a federal stage um, of a much bigger punishment, okay? Now, their whole, now, initially, you know, Juicy Smouye's uh, defense, I mean, attorneys stated that he shouldn't even have gotten punished at all because the, the, the case was originally dismissed. But keep in mind, the case was originally dismissed by Kim Fox, who is known to be a George Soros puppet, who <clears throat> who took, I mean, who took interest in the case to wanting to exonerate the man before before the evidence could even be brought. This is a woman who already made up her mind that she was going to exonerate this man by any means. So she doesn't really even matter. As a matter of fact, she should be investigated for not initially bringing charges against this imposter. All right. A man who wants to call himself a victim. And, and the reason why I'm, I'm even bringing the verdict up is not even this. I mean, the reason why I'm bringing this up is that I'm not even bringing up the fact that he was sentenced. Um, I want to talk about the man's actions after the, the sentence was read and how he came up and he was stating, I just want to say, I'm not suicidal. 
I'm not suicidal. I mean, clearly, um, never ever taking a never ever really taking accountability for his actions, but that but that's expected with the blacks. Um, the blacks never take responsibility for any of their actions, and that's the reason why they're suffering today. Um, but it's 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 just it's it's ironic that you know this guy af after the sentence was read, he wants to come up and and he throws on this whole uh, theatrical performance as if he is um, auditioning uh, for for his next Academy Award performance. I mean, the guy put on a a, a tirade, um, a rant of a lifetime coming out and saying, I just want to say that I am not suicidal, I am innocent, um, and, and but then he states, um, and, and if I did this, I did this because of the 400 plus years that black people had to go through slavery and blah, 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 blah. I mean, this guy is a narcissist. He knew what he did, all right? He, he, he even admitted doing it without him even knowing that he admitted doing it. He said, well, I'm innocent, um, but, but, but I did this because. Okay, dude, we, we know, trust me, all right? Everybody knew, even, even people that, that, are, that are liberal knew that the whole thing was a hoax because things weren't adding up. The, things just weren't adding up. I mean, they, they, they look at the injuries. I mean, the injuries are not as severe as as um as 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 he stated i mean the what what happened to him just didn't really fit what they what they seen on him you know the guy said he was severely beaten and he was poor bleach on him and 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 everything else and it's um it's 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 one it's one of these situations where where you know somebody is not necessarily telling the truth and you see it for yourself it's just a matter of other people being able to see it to see it for themselves and obviously this was something that was done by a narcissistic failing actor who obvious whose relevance was dying on the the, the trashy uh, the this trashy show on Fox called The Empire and he was trying to find more ways to I guess gain attention because he wasn't getting any more attention uh, from the show. But I'm so happy about this. But obviously there are some there are some blacks that say that. He shouldn't be locked up and he should be let go and and they should have let him go. And the only reason why he's being targeted is because he's a black homosexual, which has nothing to do with the crime that he committed on his own. But I think the real reason why he is upset is because he knows that for the next five months, the booty bandits will be coming after him. Amazing. But hey, you get what you deserve. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section after you subscribe to my channel. Smash the like button. If you like the video, share the video. If you think it's informal. And subscribe to my channel as I'll be able to uh, provide you content on the double. Also, when you subscribe to my channel, make sure that you click on the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I'm dropping new content. And with that being said, this is these conservative. Signing out. Have a blessed day, guys.